All right. So uh, I just wanted to show something really quickly I've been working on. Uh, I've been trying to develop as, me um, as much reusable utilities, I guess, for uh, interactive music as possible. So I've been basing a lot of my work off of the uh, Composing for Games book by, I think it's Chance Thomas, is that his name? Uh, but he talks a lot about these blocks, you know, of like we might have an area loop. So this level might have a, a specific uh, loop, but there might also be an intro into that as well as an outro. And so I've got a blueprint here, which uh, lets me choose when the music should actually start for the level. So it's either right when we start or perhaps it's when a trigger volume is overlapped. Maybe there's a trigger volume that encompasses the entire space. Uh, I've also got a selector here where I can choose what the trigger volume uh, is, which one it is. So if I add a new one, for example, let's say that the player is going to be exiting uh, the level or into a, a new era, or, excuse me, a new area somewhere over here. So if I just add a trigger volume in here, let's see, I just add one in and I adjust the bounds to make sure that I hit it. So basically whenever I, whoops, walk or the, the player crosses this bounds, then uh, we would say, okay, then let's play the outro. Let's let's stop the stop the loop. So just around here. So I guess as soon as I pass by this blue box. So the other options I have going on here as well. Let's see. I've got uh, two options. It can, I can either start and stop the music either when the when the level starts and then when there's an overlap event with any of these trigger boxes, or we could start it the music when the level starts and then uh, stop the music when uh, it passes th the player passes through a trigger volume. I've got a few settings here just for uh, fade in, fade out. Fade out. Uh, we could set the uh, music to stop after a certain amount of time, and it will automatically fade out, say after 30 seconds or something. And then finally, I've got a few options here: whether to play the intro or the outro, or just to play the main loop, and then the different audio files there that can be easily switched out. So the idea is I can take this and throw it into any level throw a single trigger box in there and that can help me manage the intro and outro as well as the uh, main trigger loop rather than uh, just having a single loop or something like that. We start to get something a bit more complex. So if I have here, I can just select the trigger volume. Let's choose the new one. And now if I play, we're gonna get the intro first. So here's the intro, this little piano bit. This is the actual loop now. So let's let that play a few times just to see what that's like. So I'm exploring the game, running around. Eventually this will, the, each of these um, blocks also will have multiple layers according to uh, energy in the game or, uh, or whatever else for uh, some vertical mixing, vertical arrangement. But let's say now that I'm going to exit this this area, that when I pass through the trigger box, it's going to set up the outro there, and, and just end the, the music with that little outro. Maybe it's a bit long, but you get the idea. So this, this is a nice, easy way uh, I'm developing to be able to have a lot of reusable content for interactive music. I know this is sort of just like uh, sort of the building blocks, but as this gets more and more uh, complex with more and more scenarios, uh, I hope to have quite a large number of options with a lot of reusable blueprints. So interactive music in native audio engine, uh, in, un, in the native audio engine for Unreal becomes super straightforward and reusable. So anyway, that's just a little bit of work in progress. Thought I'd share it. Hope everything's cool. All right. <laughs>